Hey guys, J.R. Fisher here. Wanted to uh, take a second to make this short video, uh, kind of show you around here. I'm in uh, Pacific Beach today, got the ocean front behind me there, which is kind of cool. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, your time and time management. You know, I hear it a lot where people say, well, I just don't have any time, JR. I just, you don't understand how busy I am. I got so much going on. I, I got my job, you know, I got my kids. Um, I've got, you know, parents I'm helping to take care of. Um, I just, you know, I got commitments. I'm a coach at a team, you know, um, and I do some extracurricular things too. And, you know, I've got to have some downtime also, you know, that's important to me too. So I just, I don't have the time. And then I may approach them and I may say, well, what, what, what about planning, planning out your time? And they'll say, well, I don't have time to plan. <laughs> that's, that's the least thing I can do is plan. I can tell you what, I, I've just got to react to everything that's going on around me. Is that the truth? Do you have to just react to everything that's going on around you? I mean, is that, do you, do you want to react to everything that's going on around you until you have no more days on the face of the earth? Is that what you want to do? I don't. <laughs> I can tell you if you, if you work for yourself, I'll get the right angle here for the sun. If you work for yourself, I think it's it's almost more pressure than if you work for somebody else. And I, I tell you why, because you actually realize that whatever you've gotten done that day is because that's what you chose to get done that day. Yeah, you know, that's a lot of pressure. You know, if you're if you're on a job and uh, you know you got to be at work at a certain time, and you know you've got that commitment, and they make you do certain things. There's a little bit of pressure taken off you, really. It's like, you know, well, they make me do this and I have to do this and this is what they're gonna pay me. So, you know, you say, well, I, I'm probably paid at the high end for my job, whether it's, you know, a cashier or whether it's a brick mason or whether it's a computer analyst, it doesn't matter. You know, you, you tend to kind of tell yourself that that's your lot in life. You know, you got this job and you are a commuter analyst or you are a, um, I don't know, a gardener or you are a pool person. You're none of those things. You're none of those things, okay? You are exactly what you've chosen to do with your time on the face of the earth. That's it. You are, you're exactly that. You're, you're no more than that. You're no less than that. If you choose to invest your time in super, super important things that are going to change the world, and you could take a, an Elon Musk or a Steve Jobs or any of those guys, you know, a lot of them slept at their office. Elon Musk still sleeps at his office. Um, I was listening to an interview the other day with Paul McCartney. You may have heard of him, one of those Beatles guys. And he's 76 years old. And guess what he just did? He just came out with a new album. <laughs> he just wrote a bunch of songs, came out with a new album, and it debuted number one at 76 years old. You know, it's so funny. We have, we have so much access now to the public. I mean, we can, we can put up a video and literally have millions of people see it. If it's a good video, okay, if we do it right. But, you know, so many people just don't even take advantage of it. And I tell you, you know, I, I look at my days and I try to plan them out. And the, the best way to really plan out your days is figure out what you have to do first. Or what do you have to do? Uh, and some of my have to's may be different from yours, but I have to eat. Okay, so I'm going to allot some time for that. Uh, I'm going to allot about 10 minutes in the morning and about 15 minutes in the afternoon and then a normal dinner. Because I don't want to waste a lot of time in the morning and afternoon just sitting there eating. Okay, I, I just don't want to do that. There's other stuff I can do. Um, I have to exercise. And guess what? You do too. Uh, everybody has to exercise to a certain degree. I heard an interview the other day about uh, uh, Matthew McConaughey. Been in tons of movies, tons of awards. And guys in just phenomenal shape. And they said, well, how do you get in good shape? Because a lot of times you're on these movie sets and you can't go to a gym. You can't just take off and do that. He goes, oh, no, no. Well, I'll exercise all day long. It doesn't matter. And they said, what do you mean by that? He says, if I'm in a board meeting and we're talking, he says, I may get down the floor and do 20 push-ups. Uh, and then if we're doing a, a script read later on in the day, I may get down the floor and do 20 push-ups. He says, by the end of the day, I can do 200 push-ups and never go to the gym. So you can make time for this stuff. You know, you could at lunchtime do 20 push-ups or sit-ups or something, right? Um, my, my day is normally planned out first thing in the morning. I may not write down everything, but I know what I'm going to do this morning. You know, I had a, I had a couple coaching clients yesterday. I, I do coaching, just so you know, for people who want to make money online, I, I do some private coaching. And I had two meetings yesterday, and uh, we videotaped those meetings. And then what I have to do is I have to download those meetings, 
uh, they're on video and I have to put them up on a page and you know get them uploaded and all that so that was the first thing I want to get done today because those people want their videos they want to get their information I know it's important to them I tell them and this is another thing I'm gonna add I tell them it'll take about four days to get their video up and I usually do it in 24 hours why would I do that because I want to under promise over deliver you'll find that your clients like you for that okay when you do a little bit more than you know what's expected of you so I did that first thing in the morning I went for a little walk on the beach here and as I walked on the beach you know you could combine tasks too I went through emails I answered a couple voicemails and I planned out this video believe it or not this video is actually planned out yeah you have to plan this stuff out you know everybody's got this 24 hours and you've got you know on average 73 74 years to be on the face of the earth the question is are you a plumber are you a roofer are you an accountant are you you okay so what are you gonna do with your time on the face of this earth you know how are you gonna spend it are you gonna set time aside for the things that really count like eating sleeping and exercising those are important and then you move on to your family commitments and your children commitments um, and then everything else is decision time you know what do you want to do how do you want to do it you know I, I was in the uh, automotive industry for many years and I know when I left it many years ago I talked to some of the people there and they were miserable and they were in the automotive industry too and they said I'm gonna get out of here I'm gonna leave I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that and to this day I can still talk to them because they're still in the automotive industry they're still in some of the same jobs or they've gotten demoted and they've moved nowhere and I'm not saying anything's wrong with that if you're happy in your job that's awesome hey stay there do what you want to do but if you're not happy um, it's a really tough existence to keep going to that job every single day when you're not happy at it when you're not doing what you want to do and the last thing I'll tell you is this if you want a particular thing maybe you want a house or a car or you know you want some fame or whatever it is here's what you do here's how you crack the code go find out who's got what you want if somebody's got a little bit of fame and they're a big-time speaker or somebody's written a book and you think they're really cool go find that person see what they did find out how they did it what activities do they do every day did they get up at 4 a.m. and write 30 minutes before they went to their job and they did that for a year and they ended up with a book and the book you know got out to the public and they got well known and then they could quit their job are you doing those little extra things that need to be done because it's simple you just find somebody out there who's doing what you want to do you see how they're doing it and you do the same thing now here's another key try to improve on it and do it a little bit better okay like my videos with my clients um, I try to improve on that every time I, I plan out all of our meetings I make sure they get more than you know uh, what, what they signed up for that's what's important over deliver so anyhow that's a good way to plan your time and remember you don't have any more time than I do you don't have any less time than I do we all have the same amount of time how are you gonna choose to spend that time for the rest of your years entirely up to you hey thanks for listening to this video if you liked it share it like it comment on it if you didn't like it tell me that too heck put that down there I want to hear that too so uh, until next time I'll talk to you later